All right, so here we are again. The next episode on the, the Cub Cadet 1440 Saga here. Um, got everything done. Got the, the head gaskets changed out. Uh, the carburetors cleaned up. And, you know, it came out pretty good out of the ultrasonic cleaner, but I found out the, the fuel solenoid's bad, so I'll be getting one of those before I put it all together. And on this video, uh, I went and got some, you know, degreaser. I've got some rust treatment, some paint, all that good stuff. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to spray this sucker down um, with degreaser. Get all the caked up stuff, you know, just clean everything up. Got some rust spots here I'm going to treat and uh, and repaint. Same thing, there's some of the skins down here underneath the, the tractor and over here. So I'll be, you know, treating for rust and uh, repainting all that stuff. And so I've got the rust reformer. I'll be using as a primer and uh, and I'm going to use this engine enamel you know so it'll handle the high heat especially on the these front skins here that are right right above the muffler I know that gets pretty hot so uh, hopefully this will this will help it out and yeah once it's all cleaned up and the paints dried and all that good stuff we will uh, put it all back together so let's get started okay so my air conditioner uh, was blaring again so I drowned it out and but it's pretty simple you can see all I was doing was uh, I had this degreaser stuff that I was spraying down the skins and you know soaking the engine down all that stuff I plugged up all the, the intake and exhaust holes and uh, and sprayed it down so I was using this degreaser stuff it's the biodegradable stuff um, because you see most of my stuff I'm working out in the yard even though it is over dirt but I don't want to use any uh, petroleum petroleum based stuff there so um, so I just soak it all down and uh, pretty simple stuff and decided to uh, uh, get a little brush after it and knock off all the the caked up stuff that was on there and when I was doing that, you know, because even when I was hosing it off, I, I didn't use the, the pressure washer. I just, you know, got the garden hose out and uh, rinsed everything off after I, after I sprayed it down. Yeah, so even with the engine, I just sprayed it down again, just trying to let it soak in. All right, so I've got all the skins over there hosed down and drying. I think I'm gonna have to roll this out somewhere where I have room to uh, to hose this engine down now. And uh, I'll hose all that down and then I'll start treating the rust here on the side. some of this down Well, I guess that's all I'm going to do. Um, it's still all baked on there. But to tell you the truth, it's going to be like... Uh, not like I'm trying to make it a show vehicle here, <laughs> but... Uh, 
but here in about two weeks it's going to be out at the ranch and it's going to go to work so it's going to take a beating out there that's why i wanted something heavy duty like this uh you know, this cub cadet's built like a tank and hopefully it'll it'll withstand uh what i'm about to put it through some pretty tall grass and and there's some spots where i need to uh some old roads and game trails and stuff like that that I need to cut down. And I'm gonna do it with this one first and then I have a Kubota that I'm uh, rebuilding the, trend, uh, the rear end on it. And then I'll transfer that one over to the ranch. But uh, well, that's, that'll be in an upcoming video for sure. But uh, for this, I guess that's it. I'm gonna go off and dry off the skins and get those painted up and I'm going to treat this rust real quick while all this dries off. gel stuff on there works pretty well so that uh, instead of spraying it on and just letting it run off at least it's a gel and it'll stick to it like on these see how for the most part it will uh, it'll stick to the surface let that sit there and do its thing. And it should be ready to go by the time uh, by the time I finish painting the skins. All right, the skins are ready to go. I've got uh, first I'm going to put this this Rust-Oleum rust reformer and uh, does a pretty good job of stopping the rust and and that'll be the primer. I'm going to go back over it all with the with the high temp engine enamel. And this stuff dries pretty fast so I'll be able to spray all this down and then turn them over and spray the other side. I think it's only like eight minutes or so or I can do that where it's, it won't be tacky. the other side. Alright, I think this stuff is, uh, yeah, it's dried. It's only been about 10 minutes, but, uh, and that one did orange peel a bit there. Thank you. 
All right, now it's time for the engine enamel. And uh, I'm going to turn these over. Well, that's the first coat. Kind of disappointed with this stuff over here. Let me show you what I'm looking at. The primer went on fine, but if you can see that, how orange peeled, it looks like a lot of crap came off of there. Especially that one. Those turned out okay, but uh, don't know why it did that. Didn't expect to have to do some sanding and all that crap, but looks like I'm going to have to if I want it. If I want to put that much time into it. So I'm ready to put this sucker back together, but we'll let it dry and see what happens. All right, so I'm back here to check on the rust here, see how it's doing. It's taken a little while. Of course, it's only been 30 or 45 minutes, but at least you see it's starting to do its thing. Um, you can see where it's converting the rust over and it turns a black color like that. And uh, once it makes a little more progress, I will uh, I'll probably brush it all down, rinse it off, dry it off, and then put more of that, uh, that black uh, rust converter on it before I paint it the yellow. All right, so let's check this out. Looks like it's doing its job. You can see how it's blackening up. So it's uh, it's converting the rust. Well, that's good. I'll probably wait a little while longer, and then I will uh, rinse it all off. If I can't, uh, hopefully I'll get this painted also, and uh, just cover everything up before it rains tonight and early morning, and then then continue on. But uh, so far, so good. Feels like it's dry enough. I'm going to use the rest of this can and uh, and get these spots covered. It looks like it did its trick on the rust, so uh, 
hopefully keep some overspray from getting everywhere, but, but I'm going to go back over it with the Cub Cadet Yellow. So. All right, I think this stuff's dry enough. I'm just going to get some of these paper towels to to go on the back here, block any overspray. I'm sure it's going to get a little messy, but. Uh, Second coat. Alright, well I think I'm at a stopping point. I'm just waiting for stuff to dry now. And you know, once all the paint dries and the paint on the skins dry off, then boom, I can start assembling everything. So uh, I guess I'll call it quits on this video and we'll continue on the next one. The next one I'm anticipating just uh, reassembling everything and replacing two things that I can think of right now and that's uh, one's the uh, fuel solenoid um, hopefully that'll get in in time and I'm going to replace the, uh, the fuel filter and see if that'll stop all the, the junk from coming through maybe I'll run two filters you know just to make sure because that was that carburetor was pretty nasty um, uh, and other than that, that's about all I can think of. So, uh, thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe and watch for the next video.